In this video series, we'll take an in-depth look at the Suffusion Theme magazine template setup. We'll start from scratch with everything in the magazine template disabled, and we'll activate each area one step at a time, and play with the settings a bit to see just how versatile the Suffusion Theme magazine template is. About the only thing that will limit you with Suffusion Theme magazine template is your imagination. So fire up the brain cells and let's take a look. To get started, I've disabled all of the settings in the magazine template, and as you can see here, nothing is displayed in the content area of the page. This will allow us to start from scratch and see how activating each section one at a time will affect the look and feel of the page. As we activate each section, we'll also modify the settings for each area. There's a lot of settings, and this will allow you to customize in a way that will hopefully suit your needs. The first thing we need to do is go over to the Pages section and create a page that will become our magazine landing page. I've created a new page that will be my magazine landing page. Now we're going to title this page Suffusion Theme Magazine Template Example Number 1. And then we're going to activate the magazine template for this page. Now we'll save this as a draft and we can view the page. As you can see, the content area is empty and we're ready to start building our magazine page from scratch. Okay, we're ready to get started by adding all of the pieces of the magazine template into the page. We've disabled everything and we're starting from scratch. For the magazine template, there are actually six areas that we'll be dealing with. First, there's the featured post slider. When this featured slider is active, there will be an area at the top of the page that will show the featured post in an image slider. It will look something like this. This featured content area can be set up from the Other Graphical Elements section of Suffusion. For this video, we're not going to set up this featured post slider and we're going to leave it disabled for now. The featured post slider will be covered in detail in another video. The second area is the main content area. This area is for content that is displayed in the main body of the page, and it's basically the main information that you type onto any given page. So let's put in some content and activate this area. Then we'll save the page. And now we'll refresh the browser window. As you can see, this main page content area is now visible and is at the top of the page. If you have both the featured content slider and the main page content area active, the featured content slider will always be at the top of the content area. There are three more areas that we're going to be dealing with and that can be made active here. The headlines area, the excerpts area, and the categories area. These three areas can be placed in whatever order you'd like for them to be placed. You can simply click and hold on one of the boxes and move it to whatever position you'd like it to be in, and then let go of it. In the next video, we'll continue with a look at the headlines area for the magazine template.